Hi, my name is uh, Dimitri Nuiten. I'm from the Netherlands Cancer Institute. I'm a radiation oncologist, uh, and I did research in gene expression profiling for breast cancer. Uh, and part of my research was done at uh, Stanford University in California. Um, we have to make a clear separation between arrays I used for local treatment, which I was talking about at this conference, and arrays that I used for pr uh, prediction of prognosis. Um, I think for the prognosis prediction, um, arrays have come a further, further way. Um, there's one test that is actually FDA approved. Uh, there's another array which is not a microarray based test, it's a different array. Um, it's a PCR test uh, which is called Oncotype. Um, and that one is actually used a lot in clinical practice and the FDA approved test uh, is called Mama Print, and it's now in clinical trials in Europe. So I think arrays are really, really helpful. Um, they are used in clinical practice at the moment, but I think the strong conclusions have to come from clinical trials. Um, but my talk was about local treatment and then it's much harder because local treatment, uh, we do such a good job as surgeons, radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, that the local recurrence rate is becoming uh, smaller and smaller over the the last 10 years and uh, the um, rates have gone down to roughly 0.5% uh, per year. So there's only 5% of the patients that have a recurrence after 10 years. And for statistical reasons, we need a lot of patients with a local recurrence to actually develop a, a, a good test. So I did some work, I developed one test and my colleague Bas Krijke, uh, I presented also part of his work, he uh, developed another test. Uh, and I think we basically have shown that the principle works we can pick up subtle differences in gene expression uh, that can be used to guide radiation oncologists and surgeons in patients that have a lower or a, high, a higher rate of local recurrence, uh, but there's a strong need for validation of these tests in prospective trials uh, before they would be helpful. So I think we look at many years before we could use these tests for local treatment. Um, I think arrays, the ones I talked about, so the MAMA print and the Oncotype DX, they have been accepted more and more and I think especially in the US uh, where the question is a little bit different uh, there's much more chemotherapy given to patients and in the US a lot of medical oncologists if they have some doubt about if the patient can handle the chemotherapy and if the benefit is relatively small they want to have uh, they want to have a stronger argument to say I don't have to give chemotherapy and then they use this test which is called the Oncotype DX. The Europeans have been always more uh, conservative in giving chemotherapy, so fewer patients are being treated, but still a lot of patients are over-treated, but I think the Europeans are a little bit more pushing for the clinical trial, so they really want to wait for the clinical trial results. So I think in the US, a lot of community-based uh, oncologists are using the test already now, uh, or they can put patients on a clinical trial. Uh, in Europe, it's mostly done in a clinical trial. Uh, the highlight, I think, I really liked the debate sessions, so especially uh, as a radiation oncologist, the debate today was about if patients after mastectomy uh, need radiation therapy. There's overwhelming evidence uh, from the 80s and the early 90s. Um, in the earlier days before that, in the 70s, radiation uh, was actually partly harmful because part of the heart was irradiated in patients with breast cancer. So with the early trials showed that actually some patients had heart problems because of the radiation, some patients had benefit and it was almost a neutral effect, but the trials from the 80s and the 90s were really convincing that patients actually had a survival benefit from radiation, even if they had relatively intermediate risk tumors, not even high risk tumors. Um, but these trials are accepted by roughly half, uh, half of the uh, breast cancer oncologists in radiation surgery and medical oncology, and the other half is always criticizing these trials uh, that they would not be valid anymore at the current uh, uh, with the current treatment options we have with better surgery, better radiation techniques, better um, chemotherapy. So um, it's an ongoing debate and I think it was, there were a, very, a few very good speakers that uh, really uh, uh, gave a nice overview of the current uh, evidence uh, and I think it's one of the few debates where before and after the discussion, even though there were very good um, discussions, uh, still almost everybody kept to their own opinion. So you really believe in the data or you think uh, it will change with the current treatment options. So I think it was a very nice debate and there is one trial going on at the moment that is actually uh, questioning whether or not it's uh, beneficial for these patients to give, uh, to give radiation uh, treatment uh, after mastectomy.